All right, so um, I gotta go finish my workout because I did my workout backwards today because I need to do more need to get on the bike. But since I did it backwards, I decided to go ahead and put my mask on and then finish my workout. So these are some things that I do when I put my mask on. I do dishes, I clean up. I'm about to go finish a workout. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, to be honest, I don't really have a real <laughs> measurement to give you guys about how to mix this concoction, but I can tell you, Google will tell you how to use it, what type of measurements to use when making it, and uh, I just can't offer that right now, all right? So I'm gonna be honest, I don't like measurements, and so I just mix to whatever texture that works for me, and that could be all right, so let's get into my skin type. So my skin type is very oily. I've always suffered from acne since I was like a teenager. And what I really learned was that it was just my diet. Like everybody was like, oh, it's cause you're a teenager. It's cause of X, Y, Z. And really it was my diet. Once I cleaned up my diet, as far as no, not eating dairy, nothing, like all that stuff, I, I guess I'm vegan. You can call me vegan, but you know, I hate that stereotype. Oh, she's vegan. But once I did that, like my skin cleared up tremendously. I have small little breakouts here and there, but other than that, it's just most of my scarring is old scarring and it, it does fade away throughout time, but I really want to check out this turmeric mask because I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. It's like, oh my gosh, my skin cleared up in one week from the turmeric mask and oh my gosh, it's just so amazing. So of course, you know, I had to check it out myself. So during the course of this turmeric mask, I actually started researching some other things for my skin because normally I go to the dermatologist once a year and I do a chemical peel and then later on I'll do microneedling. But because of COVID-19, I didn't get a chance to do that this year. So I am trying to find other ways to do some things at home to help my skin. The soap that I'm using is the Bior Rose Quartz Charcoal Daily Purifying Cleanser. I'm actually gonna stop using that because I noticed after it's on my face for about a minute or even that long with me scrubbing on it, it starts to irritate my skin, so that means it's too strong. So to start off with the process, what I did was I made sure that my skin was pretty clean and then I put the mask on my face and I let it stay for like 30 minutes until. And I say until because sometimes I would get distracted with doing stuff like my friends would FaceTime me, we would just like get into a long conversation or dinner was ready because Dumars cooked me something. Uh, I would do the dishes, I would start cleaning, I would do like my strength training. I never rode my Peloton bike though with it because I sweat too much for that and I did not want turmeric dripping down my clothes because we know that turmeric stains y'all turmeric stain my fingers it stain my washcloths it stain everything now i do have a friend she does use a brush but because i just be at home doing like home renovations my fingernails are not they're not that important right now when i start back working and going into the outside world then when i do the turmeric mask again i will use a brush That's why my nose, I was wondering why my nose was so yellow. They look really brownish and yellowish. Cause I use this with my right hand. I actually don't, oh shoot, I didn't realize I'm in a mess on this shirt. Gotta clean it off. I don't really like the plastic bag, so next time I'm just gonna put it in a container. But this is week one and day five. Yep, 
So I did this mask for two weeks because I did this mask like a couple of months ago for a week and I'm gonna be honest, I felt like all of YouTube was a whole lie. So I did this one for two weeks to see what you know, type of change occurred within my skin. All right, this is week two. My hair looks a hot mess because I just got finished working out. This week, I put it in a bowl. I probably should use a brush because my nails be turning yellow. But when I get in the shower, I like wash it off so it's not that deep. Um, and plus, we're in quarantine. Ain't nobody looking at my nails. They're not even done because we've been doing, we've been finishing up both apartments so that is why i'm not even painting my nails i really want to paint my nails it's not so yeah i put it in this container because the plastic bag it was like i had to keep digging in there and i was getting it on my hands and here yeah i should probably go buy a brush but i guess that's not essential i don't know but we're gonna see I did do something different that I saw in a lot of other people's turmeric videos. I did not add yogurt and it's because I just didn't have yogurt in the refrigerator and I didn't feel like adding yogurt. That's the real reason why I don't have yogurt. So that is it. That is my experiment with the turmeric mask. I hope that you guys are able to try this and hopefully you get better results than I did. I'm gonna try it again, but next time I'm gonna try it with the yogurt because maybe that was the key ingredient that needed me to see the changes that I need to see. And yes, I have a baby spoon. I do not know why I have a baby spoon, guys, but I just had a baby spoon around this house and none of us have kids, so don't judge me. Thank you for watching Miss Marie TV and my turmeric vlog. Please do not forget to subscribe, share, comment, and until the next video, Deuces.